Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or hello if you're new. So today's video is going to be a bit of a different one. It's kind of like a vlog and Q&A on my lip fillers because in this vlog I'm going to get my lips done. So I thought I would take you along with me, show you where I go and then show you kind of like a few days after so you can see like the swelling and stuff and then also film a little Q&A at the end so you can see how they are after the swelling's gone down and answer any questions you might have or questions I frequently get asked. So yeah, hopefully this is a helpful video. I know like fillers and stuff aren't for everyone so please leave your negative comments to yourself. I get my lips done just because I feel like it balances out my face better. I feel like people don't think I have fillers, they always think my lips are naturally this big and I feel like that's because I feel like my lips should naturally be this big for my face. So yeah, that's why I get them done. I just feel like it makes my makeup look nicer and I feel a little bit more confident with them. So yeah, if you don't like fillers then please just click off now. But if you are intrigued to learn more then keep watching. And I did just want to say that Guild did kindly give me this treatment for free. However, the past two times that I've been there, I did pay for the treatment myself. So it's not like I'm only going there or doing this video because I got it for free. I would have booked in and gone anyway because I needed my lips done and I only trust them. So yeah, thank you so, so much Guild for giving me this treatment. I am forever grateful. And also I'm not encouraging anyone else to get fillers. If you are happy the way things are, then cool. <laughs> Leave things like that. But if you have been thinking about it, then I feel like it's so much better to be informed and hear from people like not professionals as well as professionals because sometimes you just want to ask the silly questions like, did it hurt? And sometimes it's nice to just get an honest answer. <laughs> in London now I am just on my way to Guild Clinics which is where I get my lips done because I've got an appointment for a top up of my lip fillers so I'm going to take you along with me because we thought it would be a really good idea to kind of work together on this treatment so that I can show you exactly like what goes into getting your lips done and the process and I was also going to film a bit of a QA and a at the end but I'll talk to you more when I'm inside so that I can ask them any questions and things as well but yeah just so cold outside so I'm all bundled up but this is my lips before I'll try and show you again when we go in. So I've just arrived to go clicks and I've just sat down with my water to wait for my appointment time but um yeah i've been here twice before so it's really an easy to find location it's right near bank station so you don't have to really worry about getting around if you're coming from like waterloo it's directly to bank station and then uh, you like five minute walks that's super easy or if you're in london obviously it's easy to get around but um yeah just gonna show you my lips before so they still look really good. I had them done in May, so how long ago is that now? Like nine months ago, but I just wanted to top up because I feel like they could be a little bit fuller and it just makes my lipstick go on nicer and my whole makeup look a little bit, bit better, I think. But yeah, this is my before and I will show you after. Most you don't have so this is the after. I have taken my makeup off on this side because they were assessing my cheeks for cheek fillers, which may be coming soon. But yeah, this is my lips now. I've had 
numbing cream put on and then obviously the filler and everything like that so they are really swollen they told me that they will go down by about 10 to 20 percent which they always do i always swell quite badly as you'll probably see if you've seen any of my photos when i first got them done last time but yeah this is them i had about a mil put in i will talk about this more when i do my sit down bit with the q a which you'll see in just a second but yeah i'm so happy with them so happy i got them done i can't wait for them to settle down and everything but even now, I know that if I put makeup on and stuff, I can't put makeup on now. I will go through all that stuff as well in the Q&A bit, but I can't put makeup on now. But once I do, even with the swelling, I know they'll still look really good. So I don't have to worry about really any downtime or anything. So that's good. You can see. So yeah, I had the border done and kind of the centre for fullness. Last time I had them done, I just had the centre. And then the first time I had them done, I had the border and the centre. So the border, they told me you don't actually need doing as frequently because it tends to last more there, which I did find. But this time, I wanted to make sure I had it done, so I kept a really nice shape. Obviously, where they are swollen, they do look a little bit more round. But yeah, I'm so happy. day now sorry I didn't really finish vlogging properly yesterday but after I went to the appointment I just went and got some food ran to Selfridges had a look around and took some outfit photos quickly and then I got the train home so yeah it really wasn't very interesting so I thought I'd keep vlogging today so it's about 3 30 now so about 24 hours since I had them done and this is what they're looking like so they're super swollen I've got some lip balm on but um uh, yeah, I'm trying not to put anything else on them at the moment. I have done the rest of my makeup, but tried to not go too close to my face just because I don't want to kind of irritate them or anything. So, yeah, you are allowed to wear makeup, but I'm just, because it is still, like, only the next day, I'm just trying to be a little bit careful because I really don't want any infections or anything. But, yeah, they are super bruised here and here and here, which are the areas which bled on me the most. But I think that's because I did take ibuprofen because I thought it would help, but it thins your blood. So it makes you bruise more, which is really silly of me. I should have really researched that. But yeah, they're not too bad considering they are just super swollen. I've been taking Arnica tablets. Actually, I think they're in here. I'll show you them. So I saw these on Donna Lux's story because she had cheek fillers and she spoke about taking Arnica tablets and it helping with the swelling and bruising. So I picked some up in Holland and Barrett. It was £60, no, £6, not £60, oh my gosh. It was £6 for this tube, which has like 80 in. You're meant to take two six times a day. So that's like 12 a day for like a couple of days. And then you go down to uh, four times a day so yeah I won't need all of these but I'll probably use them like this time and then the next time I get my lips done or any other filler done so yeah they are good to get for just six pounds and I don't know if they work yet but I'm gonna try them out and I will let you know so yeah although they are super super swollen I am really happy with them obviously I would preferably not want to have to go out like this but I would if I just put some lipstick on to cover up the marks I don't think they look ridiculously bad obviously they are bigger than I want and they are going to go down but I still think with makeup on and stuff they look fine with my face so yeah that's good and I feel like although they're swollen there's not really too many lumps if you kind of you can feel here and here which is where the filler was mostly put they're a little bit more swollen in those areas but all in all they kind of look quite even so I think they're going to heal really nicely so yeah this is them close up so they're not like terribly blue bruised or anything I think with like a nude lipstick or like a pink I'd probably wear like a pinky nude lipstick so it matched the colour of the bruise a little bit more I think that that would cover it up perfectly fine and I'd be able to go out like this I've got to do some filming tomorrow so hopefully it does cover everything up but yeah this is day one day two so I'm gonna vlog today Saturday and Sunday just so that you can see a bit of my weekend I've got a few things to do so like today I'm having a decluttering day so I'm like cleaning my room cleaning the flat and then I'm going through my whole wardrobe so I really want to sell loads of stuff on Depop I really need to declutter I just feel like I have way too many clothes and I'm wanting to change my style up a little bit just because I'm finding there's certain things I'm reaching for more than others so I'm just gonna kind of 
buy three more pieces in those kind of styles so that I know I'm going to get like really good use out of my clothes and really enjoy the clothes that I'm wearing so I feel like I'm in a little bit of a style right at the moment so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm going through all my clothes and going to put loads of things on Depop I'm also going to be selling a couple of bags on Depop but yeah I've just got so much on at the moment that yeah I just gotta get things done so yeah, I, you will have seen me just cleaning my room and everything like that. It was an absolute mess. I've still got a long way to go, but I'm kind of redoing the decor a little bit. It used to be really pink, and I'm trying to veer away from that and go for more grey, white and black, and then I'm going to have gold accents. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I am also going to be getting rid of a lot of my like home furnishings and things like that. But yeah, for now, I've just made this massive pile of mess on my bed. So I need to sort that out and then I'm going to be going through all of my jumpers I think first because they all live in my bed normally. So yeah, normally they live in my bed here but I've kind of accumulated a massive pile of jumpers here. So I'm going to go through all those and I think I've decided I'm going to try and only keep maybe 15. I'll have to see how many I have but I want to pick up some new sweatshirts and hoodies and things and I really want to buy like a camel jumper and stuff. So yeah, I really, really need to get rid of some things. So I'm gonna set you up and we can do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just in comfy clothes, but um, yeah, so this is something I need to send back. So I'm gonna sort that out. This throw, I used to have on my armchair, but I don't have an armchair anymore. I just have like a little stool, so I don't really need it, but it's a really nice throw. It was actually quite expensive. I got sent it by Amara um, Living. So I'm definitely gonna keep it. I just need to, figure out what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to fold that up for now. This is all, oh my gosh, like paperwork and electricals and things. I'm going to pop this, that's also electrical. So I need to sort that out. I have a box where I'm going to put all of my paperwork and things in. Okay, this is all washing. I put it in a bin bag because I couldn't be bothered to sort it out. <laughs> so let's quickly do some folding. now and oh my gosh the lighting on this camera is awful okay so it's a lot later now did not anticipate the day going how it did but I had to go to my parents house and fix a few things because that was the only time I could do them and I ate and walked my dog so yeah it's a lot later now but I've got all the jumpers out from my bed so we've got this massive pile here this literally is so many jumpers I've put a couple here already and then I've still got this massive pile here so I'm gonna prop you up and I'm gonna go through them so I'm gonna have a pile that I'm definitely keeping maybe and then charity and then like comfy jumpers because I am gonna keep a couple like for work that I don't want like to like wear all my really nice jumpers so yeah I'm gonna do that and I'm hoping like I said to keep like 15 to 20 maximum I have probably got about 60 so yeah this is gonna be difficult <laughs> So this is my progress so far. So I've got all of these to keep already. So these are cardigans and then jumper dresses and then these are jumpers and then they're jumpers for work and then that's like a sweatshirt. So I'm not gonna class that as like a jumper because I style them differently. So yeah, I have still got the massive pile. I've just cleared the one that was like here. And then these ones are maybes and then those ones I'd go so only two so far but all the ones that were out were mainly because they're the ones I've been wearing so I'll probably get rid of a lot more of these okay so this is where I've got to so far including like everything except from the like few sweatshirts for work I've kept 24 pieces so a little bit over what I wanted I've got this massive pile to sell though and then this is all maybes so I think I'm gonna let myself keep 30 for now and then once I've sold all of those I can always go back through and see which ones I just still haven't worn because like some of these are like cardigans like these cardigans for example they're really lightweight so I only wear them in the summer like on holiday or like over things so they're not really like things I wear all the time but I just keep them for more like necessity So we're just in Tesco's petrol station, it's Saturday now, I've completely forgot to vlog the rest of my day yesterday, but 
<laughs> we're just here filling up and we're on our way to Portsmouth to look for a new car for Amber <laughs> and then we're gonna go to Ikea in Southampton and look at some home bits so yeah just a bit of a running around day but I'll take you along because maybe you'll find it interesting Today is Wednesday, so it's nearly a whole week since I got my lips done. I got them done last Thursday, and this is what they look like now. Obviously, I've got lipstick on, so you can't see like the bruising and stuff. The bruising has mostly gone, and I actually think the swelling has mostly gone. I think they're probably still a tiny bit swollen, but yeah, there's mainly just like a couple of lumps, but I always get that on my bottom lip. I have no idea why. I think it's because I used to have lip piercings here, so I think it kind of pushes the filler up a little bit above the scar tissue, but other than that, they're basically fine. I know that they're gonna heal really well, so I'm really happy with them, so. And by the way, this jumper is from Mango, and it's sold out, but it's absolutely amazing. I'll see if I can find anything similar. And my lipstick is a limited edition from Nars, so I'm really sorry I'm wearing things you can't get. But yeah, time to film. So I've been waiting for this parcel for about three weeks now and missed about four deliveries. I would actually have to say that Yodel are the worst delivery company I have ever dealt with. But anyway, my new rug is here. So this is like a furry rug and it's gonna go in my bedroom in front of my mirror. So hopefully it will be nice. It was actually really cheap, so hopefully it's not really, really bad. So this is the rug laid out. I'll show you properly tomorrow because obviously the lighting is awful right now. I also broke my ceiling light somehow. The light bulb just doesn't work. But yeah, so it's quite late now. I think it's like, 6 30 ish so i'm just lounging in this cardigan from misha lounge oh my gosh the lighting is actually awful and then some just some leggings and then this lounge underwear crop which you will have seen in my lounge underwear haul so today is friday and i've just finished getting ready i'm just about to go for lunch with my friends amber and lizzie and yeah so thought i would vlog today i've done my makeup like normal but i've just put fake eyelashes on just because i feel like with my lips it balances up my face a little bit better i don't know what you think but anyway i thought i would show you so i've had my parcels arrived i placed two massive orders on pretty little thing and misguided last night and they've arrived which is amazing their next day delivery is so fast so i'm not actually going to show you everything because i'm going to be filming a haul but i will show you my outfits i am going to wear some pieces from this today so that i can shoot something but right now I'm just wearing this jumper from Zara and I actually love it. Oh my gosh. Oh they've got a look! And a piece of sushi! <laughs> sushi! A sushi! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my so god. Cute. 
cute. If someone got me a sushi toy, I'd be I so actually want annoying. one of these. If anyone wants to get me a birthday present, then you know where to come. So I thought I'd show you the perfume that I've been wearing recently. My mum got it for me for Christmas and it's called Oudish by Zarko and I wasn't sure on it at first but I actually really really like it so yeah. I thought I'd show you that. So we're just about to go out just for like casual drinks and stuff so I've put on some of my new misguided bits. So I've got this like black kind of like sporty top, it's just really comfy. And then some high waisted like coated jeans which are actually really tiny, I kind of wish I got a size up but oh well. And yeah, and then my ASOS boots I wear always. <laughs> and that's about it. Ready to go. <laughs> so, as you saw, I got my lips done on the 17th of January, and today is the 6th of February, so it will be three weeks ago tomorrow that I got them done. So, generally, they say that it does take a couple of weeks for swelling to go down, so hopefully by now all of my swelling has gone. I'm pretty sure it's all gone. And there are kind of like a few little lumpier areas, but I always get that on my bottom lip. I feel like that's because I had piercings on my bottom lip and I think because of the scar tissue the filler kind of finds it harder to settle so for me it does take a little bit longer for the lumps to go but they aren't visibly lumpy like on the top it's just I can feel that they're still kind of settling down so yeah that's kind of how my lips are at the moment so I have got lipstick on I've got a matte lipstick by Too Faced which I will link down below so this is what they look like with the lipstick on. I'll try and film a close up as well so that you can see but I'm really happy with them they have gone down quite a lot since when I first got them done when they were really swollen but I'm really happy with the results I'd rather they weren't too massive because then I find that they can look unnatural when I don't wear makeup but I find that right now they look really good when I don't wear makeup and they also look really good when I do and if I want them to look any bigger when I am wearing makeup then I can do the usual overlining and kind of gloss and everything like that but usually I'm perfectly happy just working on a lipstick like this so this is my lips close up hopefully you can see there's not really any lumps and the swelling has all gone down so yeah so yeah that kind of covers my first question about swelling everyone is completely different but they normally say that it's around two weeks and then they normally say if you are unhappy with anything then to go back after like a month because by a month's time then everything should be 100% settled but yeah two weeks is kind of like you'll be pretty much back to normal but I would say I'm happy to kind of go out after maybe like four days. I did go out just like two days afterwards and I could cover everything up with lipstick and it looked perfectly fine. They just do look a little bit sore and swollen. But yeah, I would say kind of like four days mark, you're kind of all right. And then a week is kind of like, yeah, perfect. <laughs> And then in terms of bruising, I made the mistake of taking ibuprofen before I went in because I thought, oh, that'll help with the pain and it'll help with swelling because it's for inflammation. But I didn't realise that it actually thins your blood, so it meant that my bruising was worse. So although my swelling wasn't too bad, it meant that my bruising was a bit worse. So I would say, well, and they do recommend not to take ibuprofen or aspirin or anything like that. They say to just take paracetamol. So if you want to take painkiller, take that. And I also took Arnica tablets. I wasn't very consistent with it because I kept forgetting and I was out and about but Arnica tablets are really good for bruising and swelling and they, they're like recommended post-surgery and things so they're a really good thing to take before and after lip fillers and I also took an antihistamine the day before and after just to help with swelling as well so they're just a few tips but yeah bruising, bruising really depends on the person if you bruise a lot you're likely to bruise if you don't bruise a lot you're not likely to bruise but I found all my bruises went within a few days anyway so they're not too bad and you can always cover them up yeah, that's bruising and swelling. In terms of where I go, I go to Guild Clinics, which is in London, and I love Guild. I've been going there for my lip fillers ever since I started getting them done. This is my third time, and I think they're just really great because they are a chip training clinic, which means that it's slightly cheaper than other places. So the treatment is £150, whereas other places it can go up to like 400 I don't know. It goes really, really high. So it's £150 for one mil, and then it's like £150 for each mil on top of that. But that's a really, really great price, but you're not really sacrificing on 
the like safety or quality or anything because where it is a training clinic you have the professional there and it will either be one on one with a student who has already had quite a bit of practice and you're just going to be their kind of practice model so the professional and the trainee will both work on your lips just so that the trainee can learn a little bit more or if it's kind of brand new trainees wanting to get into the profession then there'll be more of like a classroom set up which is what I had this time I unfortunately didn't get to film any of it but I will see if I can kind of get anything from that Instagram or anything so you can see but yeah if it's like a classroom then there'll be maybe like nine students and you'll be the model so the professional will be kind of like teaching them so you'll be sat there they'll examine your face kind of teach the class a little bit and then you will be sat in the chair and the professional will do your lips really carefully and you'll be videoed so that the classroom can see what they're doing so it's more like a tutorial so yeah that's what I had this time and I thought that was really great because you basically got a professional doing your whole treatment as super carefully as possible for a really good price it just meant you were there a little bit longer because obviously they have to teach the class so yeah that's a little bit bit about Guild Clinics. I have thought about going to other places obviously as everyone does but I just really do trust them with my lips and I've always been happy with the results and the price is good and I really like going up to London and just getting it done. It's kind of like a break in my week. So yeah that's about where I go. So in terms of how often I go I last went in May 2018 and then I've just been in January so that was quite a long gap. I think that was eight months I worked out normally I would go like six months so before May I went in November so yeah that was about six months so yeah I would say for me I would prefer to go every six months but because it was kind of around Christmas time I got super busy and couldn't really go up and get them done so it ended up being a bit longer but I would say six to eight months although some people can wait like a year and they still look really good but just for me because I do like them to still stay quite plump and full, I like to go a little bit more regularly. But they normally say the filler starts to fade within like six to nine months on most people. And then what type of filler I get, I am going to email my clinic just to double check because I can't have to remember. So I will put it on the screen here. But again, that varies from people to people. Some places use Juvederm, some places use other things. Juvederm is a really good option, that's what I hear about the most. But I don't think I actually use that because I think they found something that worked better on my lips. But you want to make sure that they're using a really good high quality filler and they don't want to use anything that's going to be like permanent in your face you want to make sure it is something that will dissolve over time and not be like the wrong thing for your lips so i actually had two types of filler so the filler that i get they do it in like a contour version and a body version i think it is which means one of them is used for the border of your lips a vermilion border i think it's called and then one of them is used for the center so that just means that your lips look a bit overall better because i think I don't know all the technical terms, but from what they were saying, the one that you use for your border, if you use it in the centre, it isn't so great, and then the one that you use for the centre, if you use it in the border, it isn't so great. So they just used a mixture of the two, and I had 0.6ml of both, but I don't think they quite used it all, so I probably had just over a mil put in my lips this time. So yeah, all of like the technical information that I can find out, I will put in this, the description box, but yeah, basically, I had about one mil of filler put in my lips, and I had two different types, just to make sure that the overall result was a lot better, because I did this time really want to focus on keeping my shape because the first time I had it done I had the border and the centre like the body of my lips done the second time I just had the body of my lips because the border had stayed quite well apparently that kind of lasts a lot longer on most people so yeah I didn't need it done last time but this time because I was going probably a little bit bigger where I still had a little bit of filler left I wanted to make sure that the border stayed really defined and I didn't lose that shape so they did focus on the border as well as the centre to make sure that I think overall when you do that it does look a lot more natural because obviously if it's all just in the centre and the outline is kind of a bit limp then it's going to look a bit ducky and fake <laughs> so yeah that's kind of all my information on the filler itself in terms of pain I would say that this, I was thinking about it while I was getting it done because obviously I knew I was filming this video and I wanted to describe it properly to you. So I would say that the pain is kind of like if you have ever plucked your eyebrows, you know when you get a hair and you kind of pluck it out, that feeling of the pain as it comes out of the skin, that's what I would liken the pain to of getting your lips done. But obviously where the needle's in for a bit longer, I feel like the pain is for longer. So it is quite, I would say it is quite pain, but it's not painful, it's quite uncomfortable. I wouldn't say that it's, painful I would say a wax is painful <laughs> whereas I would say that this is just kind of uncomfortable and you kind of just want it to be over because it kind of irritates your eyes a little bit kind of like you know when you hit your nose it kind of makes your eyes water a little bit that's kind of what I feel like it's just kind of like an uncomfortable pain I will like take or leave numbing cream I don't feel like it makes that much difference obviously it will make a little bit of difference but the filler that I have has numbing inside 
of the filler so as it as they do your lips your lips numb anyway so I find that to be a good option the numbing cream I feel like can also be a little bit annoying so I don't really like the feeling of having numb lips so yeah I'm not really sure what else to say in terms of afterwards when they are swollen and bruised I do find them a little bit uncomfortable I wouldn't say they're painful but like for example when I'm washing my face for a couple of days after I am kind of a bit more gentle because it does hurt a little bit and they do say that you're not meant to wear makeup or go to the gym or anything for 24 hours after you get them done just because obviously it's like open holes where they've put injected your face so it's obviously a little bit more of a risk of getting infections and stuff like that so yeah I'm not really sure what else there is to say I am thinking of getting my cheeks done soon I just want to get a little bit of definition in my cheekbones here I'm not 100% sure but if I do do that video then I can obviously do another one of these if you would be interested you can leave any comments below with questions either about lip fillers or cheek fillers and I'll try and answer the lip filler ones either on my insta story or in a vlog and then if I get cheek fillers done ever if I do decide to go for it then I can answer those questions in that video but yeah overall I'm super happy with my lips and I'm so happy that I've had them topped up I'm going to keep going and getting them done I don't think that I will stop I know that it is kind of like a trend but for me it's always been something that I've wanted bigger lips just because I haven't felt like it's suited my face and people say now that these look like my natural lips and my lips before just didn't look quite right on my face so yeah I'm really happy with it and I'm really happy with where I go so I would recommend checking them out even if you aren't from London I'm from Bournemouth so I do travel like two hours on the train to get there I do feel like it's worth it and you can kind of make like a day out of it if you book like an afternoon appointment you can go up for breakfast and do a bit of shopping and then go get your lips done and come home <laughs> But yeah, I will leave as much information as possible in the description box and yeah, you can ask me any questions in the comments and I will be happy to answer. Please do not just say things like your lips look stupid because I won't reply because I don't agree and don't really care. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. My next video is going to be a haul of loads of really nice comfy clothes from like Misguided, Topshop, Pretty Little Thing, everything like that. So stay tuned for that. And also after that I'm going to be doing a styling video. So let me know if there's any outfits in particular you want to see. I know I've been meaning to do one for ages. But I just really haven't got around to it. And I really want to pick up a few pieces for my wardrobe beforehand. But yeah, that's it for this video. And I want to say thank you so much to Guild. Because they did give me my treatment for free this time. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.